Hello there and welcome. Today I am going to show you how to make a faux stained glass sun catcher using watercolor. Here in Norway you might know that winter is quite long. I for one really like that the sun is returning but at this time we really could use some more sun, some more light, some more color to contrast the monochrome that's outside. So I decided to make a sun catcher and to bring you along so you can make one too. This will be an adventure for me because I've never made one before. So follow along and we'll see where we end up. These are the things you will need First of all, you will need some kind of paper that can take quite a bit of water. If you use printer paper, it will disintegrate, so it needs to be a little bit more sturdy than that. Then you will need some kind of watercolor. It doesn't have to be professional quality. It can be your kids' watercolors. That works too. Some water. Brush pencil, eraser, depending on what shape you're going to make, you might need a ruler uh, or something to make a shape from, some kind of black marker that's waterproof, a pair of scissors if you're going to cut it out, mineral oil is optional, and if you use that you're going to need some paper too. The first thing you need to do is to decide what shape you want your sun catcher to be. I thought I would make one that is round, that's why I have this saucer, and one that is triangular and that's the reason for the ruler. And uh, you also need to decide what shapes you want in the sun catcher itself. I will probably go for something floral in one of them and something more abstract in the other. And now we need to sketch it out. Start with the shape. This is for the round one. Now I'm drawing a bit darker than I would otherwise when doing watercolors because I'm going to go over them with a marker anyway see what we can do in the round one. Some kind of flower perhaps. And when you're dealing with stained glass shapes, they don't have to be super detailed but you do need to make all some of the lines go all the way up to the edge or it won't look like a stained glass window. I'm going to show you what I did here. Just to, just a second. I can show you this if you can see what I did there. It's some kind of flower. <laughs> a hanging flower with a couple of leaves. And then I'm going to do the other one. I would love to see what, what you create by the way. So feel free to share it with me on social media. I am Lindarsen almost everywhere. Except on YouTube. <laughs> I think I'm Linda Shin everywhere else except my photo Instagram. Oh, come on, be nice. These glued pads can be a bit difficult sometimes. Now, triangular. Come on, be nice. I don't understand why th things have to get in your way. That's just the way it is sometimes. Let's see. Can go from one edge to the middle of the paper. The edge is 
just measuring it out to get a triangle with equal sides. Paint line over there and then mark the middle of that line which would be 7.4. Sorry for the maths people, I know not everybody likes that. I'm not a fan myself of maths. But I can handle them. And that is a triangle. I'm going to add a photo of both as soon as I get this off the pad. What we need to do is decide what color we're going to use. I think I'm going to go for something something red, yellow, orange for the triangle and something blue, purple and green on the flower. Where did I put my brush? There it is. And now when we paint these the papers might go a bit wonky when they get wet and stay that way when they dry. There's a way to fix that, at least fix it for the most part. That is that you take your paper after it's dry and you put it face down on a kitchen towel. Then you spray the back of the paper with water, let it soak for a couple of seconds and then you iron it on the lowest setting. Another way is to do this, uh, put it face down on a kitchen towel, moist in the back and then put a stack of books on top of it and let it dry overnight. That way you get rid of the worst of the wobbly bits. It surprises me that most of the people who, who post tutorials on how to make a sun catcher seem to only focus on toddlers. It's like grown-ups and older kids can't do sun catchers for some reason. Can't understand why that would be. Might be fun for someone older to do them too and I know at least women and some men like a splash of color in their lives, so why shouldn't we do it too? And don't worry about staying perfectly within the lines. It's not required. Actually, I usually say that staying within the lines is overrated. I'm not going to stop these colors from flowing into one another. Even though that's not stained glass perfect. I don't worry about worry about perfect. Not my style, at least not for these experiments. I might get hung up in detail when it comes to paintings, but for experiments it's just fun to see what happens. I've had server issues for a week or so and it seemed like the people who were supposed to fix them for me I make use of support when I pay for it uh, they seem to make it worse now I have more errors than I had before 
but hopefully it will get sorted. I don't think it's the errors are apparent on the website, but they might cause some lag and other issues. I just hope they don't, but yeah, they need fixing. Now this might become a lot more abstract than I thought it would. <laughs> oh well. No harm, no foul. What kind of music do you like? When I put music up on my videos I sort of have to guess. I'm a bit of a metalhead myself so it, I can't really just use my own preference for music because then some of you might <laughs> turn off the video. And I don't want that. We all need our watch time to make YouTube happy. I think I'm going to stop abusing that paper right now and start abusing the other one. I think I will be framing these in some way, whether it's cardboard or contact paper or something like that, before I hang them in the window. I will show them on my Instagram stories. Uh, the reason I, it's no point for me to hang them now is, well, it's dark outside. It's pitch black, so you wouldn't see them anyway. Plus, my windows are rather ugly because they're punctured, so dust and moisture get in. Uh, in between the panes. And that makes them look dirty even though they're not dirty. Well, that's just something you learn to live with when you have an old house. We will switch them for new windows when we <laughs> win the lottery. Something like that. It's quite expensive to do so here in Norway. So, it'll have to wait. There are other things that have priority. So beautiful windows won't happen today or tomorrow. I might try to make mine, at least one of them, a little bit more transparent by adding mineral oil to the back of it. But I can't promise it would, will turn out great. If you choose to use mineral oil on yours without knowing the result, at least let them dry for a bit longer before you try to hang them up because, well, oil takes longer to dry. I'd love to see you over on the blog making comments or commenting here on YouTube. One thing you could answer for me is, have you made sun catchers before, after you grew up, not as a toddler? Answer me in the comments, and if you have anything else to say to me, you can add that too, or send me an email. 
course I would also love it if you supported me on Patreon. Uh, you can find that link in the description. I've also added some more tutorials for sun catchers in the description. There's one there that's beaded, uh, one with white glue, one with transparent glue, transparent glue, and so on. So there's lots to choose from just because in case you got bitten by the bug and wanted to make more, I wanted to give you some to start with. I just have to let these dry and hopefully that, that won't take too long. I'll add a photo of um, what they looked like when they dried and also what they looked like after I go around the lines with a marker because before these are dry <laughs> I will have run out of battery and light and time pretty much so thank you for watching me color these in and thank you for watching I really do appreciate that you watch my videos click that little thumbs up if you liked it share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't I will be back next week with something else we'll see what that is bye